Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of December 12, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell technology sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $132.94. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.33. Energy sector ETF was a previous suggested long sector. Today, we suggest to sell it. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Conoco Phillips company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $117.22. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.07. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Exxon Mobil Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $105.04. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.31. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Philips 66 company has a buy call strike price at $105, and a sell call strike price at $106. For this spread option, it will expire on December 16, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.16. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Citigroup Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $45.7. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.61. American Express was a previous suggested long stock. Today, we suggest to sell it. American International G was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Citigroup Incorporated is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $45.7, but we expect a possible sell price of $45.72. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Citigroup Incorporated, if it is over 2.90% of your stock price trade. JP Morgan Chase is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 1.0%. 
we suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $133.33, but we expect a possible sell price of $135.75. In addition, we suggest to stop selling JP Morgan Chase if it is over 1.45% of your stock price trade. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Crown Castle was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Crown Castle is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $138.08, but we expect a possible buy price of $135.96. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $140.73, unless is overvalued. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Pfizer Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $50.89. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.12. Abbey Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $164.98 but we expect a possible sell price of $166.88. In addition, we suggest to stop selling out by Incorporated. If it is over 3.65% of your stock price trade. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Amgen Incorporated has a sell put strike price at $262.5. A buy put strike price at $270, a buy call strike price at $282.5, and a sell call strike price at $290. This spread option will expire on December 16, 2022, and the estimated price is at $1.24. Eli Lilly and Company is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $366.45, but we expect a possible sell price of $369.9. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Eli Lilly and Company if it is over 2.45% of your stock price trade. industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Raytheon Technologies. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $99.77. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.07. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell FedEx Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $173.66. 
for a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.64. Union Pacific was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Union Pacific is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buyer return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buyer return of 0.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $216. But we expect a possible sell price of $216.43. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $207.63, unless is undervalued. Material Sector ETF as a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Material Sector ETF is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 2.5 percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $79.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $81.91, unless is overvalued. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe. It has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell at a minimum price of $148.43. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.92. This is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Ecolab Incorporated has a sell put strike price at $147.5 and a buy put strike price at $150. For this spread option, it will expire on December 16, 2022. And the estimated price is at $0.92. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Tesla Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $175.9. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.48. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. McDonald's was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that McDonald's is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $280.48. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $273.85, unless is undervalued. Netflix Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Netflix Incorporated is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 4.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $328.85. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $308.17, unless is undervalued. Tesla Incorporated was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Procter & Gamble. You can observe, 
it has an expected sell return of 2.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $148.45. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.28. This is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, the Coca-Cola company has a sell put strike price at $63, and a buy put strike price at $64. For this spread option, it will expire on December 16, 2022. And the estimated price is at $0.37. Technology sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Advanced Micro Devices has a sell put strike price at $69 and a buy put strike price at $70. For this spread option, it will expire on December 16, 2022 and the estimated price is at $0.38. Broadcom Incorporated was the previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Broadcom Incorporated is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $544.15, but we expect a possible buy price of $539.28. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $556.63, unless it's overvalued. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $144.67. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.64. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Verizon Communications. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $37.25. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.12. AT&T was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that AT&T is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $18.88, but we expect a possible buy price of $18.83. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $19.43, unless it's overvalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, T-Mobile US has a buy call strike price at $144 and a sell call strike price at $147. For this spread option, it will expire on December 16, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.64. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Southern Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $69.14. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.31.
Bitcoin belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a strong opportunity to buy Chainlink. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 14.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $6.67. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell NEO. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $7.32. EOS was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that EOS is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $0.93, but we expect a possible buy price of $0.88. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $0.99, unless it's overvalued. Ethereum was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Ethereum is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $1,259, but we expect a possible buy price of $1,129. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $1,263, unless it's overvalued. Litecoin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Litecoin is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 10.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $83.61. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $73.91, unless it's undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.